here at Broussard Homestead, we like to try to combine homesteading and prepping to create a survivability plan or a sustainability plan uh, that, that works for us long term. Because uh, prepping isn't really all that long term if you think about it. Uh, so we we throw in the homesteading to uh, to help extend that life lifetime of the uh, sustainability. Here we've got uh, an experiment that we've got going on. These are store bought dry red beans, red kidney beans that we just uh, a couple of months ago. Let's see, today is October 29th, I think end of end of October, whatever the case, uh, and. The, we put these in right at the beginning of fall here in southwest Louisiana and you can see that uh, we've got good sized pods here and we're gonna let those finish filling out the beans inside are still pretty well if you see the profile of that the beans inside are still pretty uh, undeveloped we've got uh, probably I, I don't know if I had to guess I'd say probably about a month left before these are uh, full-size mature beans on the inside and we as far as I know uh, we're gonna need to let these dry on the plants in order to collect them harvest them for uh, for food or for seed for next year and this was just a handful of red beans just from from the grocery store aisles and you can see <clears throat> we've got an awful lot of beans bean plants coming up here we've got some other things here we've got marigolds still from the spring garden and there's turnips there in the middle more marigolds some weeds uh that <laughs> that corner of the garden got kind of neglected because it was full of fire ants and then over on the other side we've got more turnips and marigolds strawberries that there in the middle those are that's a permanent strawberry bed second year uh, we're going to do a little work on that in the spring to, to fix that up. And uh, we've got a uh, type of, I forget what type of uh, sweet pea is coming up on the, uh, the arbors there. There's uh, some tomatoes and a right, uh, let's see, right there. Let me go over there, actually. It's a eggplant. But it's not going to have time. Eggplant likes the warmer weather, so it's not going to have time to uh, to mature enough to make fruit this year. Uh, actually, there's another one right there too. I've never noticed. But there's there's a lot of weeds here. It is kind of neglected. There's some uh, tomato tomato plants in there as well. But uh, again, those are not going to have time to make fruit before it gets really cold. We're looking at uh, let's see, it was 48 degrees Fahrenheit this morning which is pretty typical for this time of year for us maybe a little a little lower than what it normally is but uh, we normally expect our first frost in mid-november so we've got a really long growing season here anyhow just wanted to give you an update on those those red beans when uh, when it comes time to when it comes time to uh, harvest those, we'll make another video on them. But I really think, looks like it's gonna go really well.